This is Carl Moore talking management for the Globe and Mail. Today I'm delighted to speak to Charles Galanick, who's a professor at INSEAD in France. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Carl. Charlie, you've been studying strategy and thinking about it for a number of years, but lately you've got a very interesting research project. Can you tell us about some of the key findings? What we're looking, what we're looking at is why do some employees uh, understand and accept their company's strategy and others don't. Uh, this is a huge issue for companies. Uh, organizations spend uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars on strategy consulting uh, uh, every year, and uh, they, they want those strategies to be embedded in people's minds. Uh, on top of that, we are finding there's fewer and fewer jobs that are, um, uh, you know, do as we say jobs, where effectively you don't need people to know your strategy. Uh, you need them to, to execute on the specific rules and routines that you have for them, but they don't have to know the strategy. But uh, there's you know, a growing sector where you need people to be connected to your purpose. Uh, you can't be telling them every day what to do and so on. So Charlie, very needful thing to do. What are the ways of making sure your, your employees get your strategy and follow it and believe in it? We looked at three different factors that uh, help explain the variance. You know, why do some people get it, accept it, and others don't? Uh, the first factor were job conditions. So the uh, task clarity surrounding your job, uh, do you have education development opportunities, the teamwork, and so on. And the argument there is that where people uh, find that the local job conditions are very strong, these are also the type of conditions that are more likely to be linked up to the strategy. I, you're more likely to be satisfied by the, the job and the, the teamwork and so on if it's connected to the purpose of that company, that local company. Secondly, we look at supervisors. Uh, if your supervisor is uh, particularly engaged with you, if there's a lot of communication and back and forth and coaching and so on, you're more likely through that, through that pipeline, through that bandwidth, uh, high, higher bandwidth, you're more likely to get more information about strategy and purpose and what, what is this all about. And finally, we looked at senior management in these companies, right? The, the very top uh, management teams, whether they're engaged in uh, providing uh, bi-directional communication, building trust in the rank and file and so on. So for your study, Charlie, you had three factors. Did you find one was more important or one less important than the other three? What didn't matter at all is supervisor engagement. So your immediate supervisor, uh, they could be doing a song and dance uh, or whatever else. Uh, it does not seem to influence at all your, uh, uh, your engagement with the strategy, your understanding of the strategy and your acceptance. What mattered the most by far was the senior management. Uh, and this is an order of magnitude uh, greater than, than anything else uh, that, that, we were, uh, that we were looking at. Um, and uh, I, th I think this is important. I, mean, th I think today we have a cascading model of strategy. You know, the senior leaders uh, form the strategy and then they, um, uh, they cascade it down, right? You kind of give it to the next level down to communicate and then the next level down and so on. And what we've, we've done essentially in this data is we challenge that model. Uh, we say the senior leaders have a very important responsibility to directly engage with the employees, to be out there pushing the strategy, communicating it, make sure people understand it and have a chance to accept it. Uh, because the supervisors by themselves, they don't seem to have as much uh, credibility to do that. Their job is the local settings, link it up to the strategy, but the senior management, they have to be leading the charge and, uh, and driving that strategy into the company.